Imagine the world as a flat, two-dimensional surface. There are trees and buildings, but they're flat too. They have no height or volume. It's a weird place. And more importantly, not a very useful one. You're missing key information if you need accurate spatial awareness. Can you build a power plant on this property? Can an airplane safely land on that runway? It's impossible to know the answers without understanding elevation that puts things into perspective. The world exists in three dimensions, and often so does satellite imagery. But with so many types of digital elevation models, each created via different collection and processing methods and sold in a variety of formats, it can be hard to make sense of it all and know what's right for your application. Today, we're going to explore the different types of elevation models and which solutions currently on the market meet your project's requirements. A digital elevation model, or DEM, is a data set that includes three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. The X and Y commonly represent latitude and longitude on the Earth's surface. The Z coordinate, representing height, is the key piece of data that converts our flat image into 3D. Elevation models are created in a number of ways. The raw data is typically generated from remote sensing data captured by aircraft or satellites using optical, LiDAR or synthetic aperture radar sensors. Each collection method and sensor have their own merits. But let's stay focused and concentrate on optical imagery collected by satellites. Satellite imagery has some distinct advantages when it comes to collecting elevation data. Satellites can cover extremely large areas quickly and that collection is unrestricted by country and state borders, unlike aircraft or drones. With resolutions of 30 centimeters per pixel, optical satellites can produce very accurate models. And when compared to LiDAR, a satellite image benefits from a direct correlation between a visible feature on a photo and the measured data. So, how is 3D elevation data extracted from a 2D image that has been taken from 600 kilometers above the Earth's surface? To learn more about the magic of photogrammetry, let's head over to Maria from European Space Imaging. Hi everyone, photogrammetry uses at least two overlapping images from different angles in order to create a 3D effect. That's just like your eyes, basically. It was developed over a hundred years ago as a manual approach to creating topographic maps. Nowadays, the process is highly automated and enhanced with algorithms in order to extrapolate hidden terrain and surface features. Stereoscopy is the process using triangulation in order to extract a three-dimensional point from a set of images. You might hear providers say they offer stereo imagery, which means they collect images from two or more angles and deliver this as a single set of data. At European Space Imaging, we offer stereo and even tri-stereo imagery. That means a single location is photographed from three different angles to give an incredibly accurate elevation data set and minimize hidden features. For some solutions, several more images from varying vantage points are used for even more precision and to reveal even more of the surface. As you can see, there are many factors to consider when searching for elevation products. Our team of geospatial experts are standing by and happy to help guide you to the perfect solution. Regardless of how they are collected, DEMs can be generalized into three product categories. Digital terrain models, digital surface models, and 3D visualization models. A digital terrain model, or DTM, might have different definitions depending upon where you live. But in general, it's a bare earth model. Anything above the surface, such as vegetation or structures, won't be included. Common applications of DTMs include hydrology and mapping for mining or construction projects. A digital surface model, or DSM, includes not only the bare earth, but all vegetation and structures. They provide an extremely accurate representation of the world as it actually is. 
DSMs are useful for telecom infrastructure, urban planning and vegetation management. A 3D visualization model is a mesh data format that can be integrated into real-world simulations. 3D models are extensively used for military mission planning, flight simulators, video game development, and visual effects for the film industry. With so many commercial elevation products on the market, it's wise to choose a company that has a variety of solutions, employing a diverse range of technologies. European Space Imaging not only collects the satellite imagery used to generate elevation models, but they also offer a wide selection of specialized products by partnering with innovative companies around the globe. These solutions include the GAF Elevation Suite, AW3D by NTT Data, and the Maxar Vricon 3D Data Suite. The GAF Elevation Suite offers rapidly produced elevation models up to 30 centimeters resolution by leveraging multi-view imagery from either the archive or a new collection. Large areas can be easily covered at a lower 5 meter resolution by Euromaps 3D, a solution utilizing imagery from Cartosat 1. AW3D is a collection of elevation products ranging from 50 centimeters to 5 meter resolution based on the combination of multi-view monoscopic images from the Massive Imagery Archive. The Maxar Vricon 3D Data Suite is perfect for demanding large-scale projects where high resolution and accuracy are paramount. With the rise of digitalization and smart everything, new solutions involving elevation models are increasingly disrupting industries and propelling businesses to greater heights. Hopefully now you feel more knowledgeable and a little more confident in your search for the perfect elevation product. To learn even more about everything related to very high resolution satellite imagery, head over to euspaceimaging.com. Thanks and see you next time.